are at Dreamforce, <laughs> which obviously is the biggest celebration that happens in San Francisco. Yes, it is. It gets bigger every single year. Tell me the size of it and tell me the size of what you're shooting for. Well, we have 170,000 people registered to come to our conference, which is amazing. But we're, we've been sold out for weeks and we have 10 million online. So people can join us at salesforce.com slash live, see the show, see the keynotes, experience this amazing magic that's happening here. Now, uh, you are setting a goal of 20 billion in revenues. You just did 10 billion. Too ambitious versus the total addressable market? No, no. I mean, we, you know, this is, we're going to double this company again. We're, as you know, we're going to do more than $10 billion this year and we're going to fast track it to 20. Now, one of the things that we've been talking about, and David Faber broke a really interesting story not just minutes ago about how Fox and Disney, the talks aren't on right now, but they combined. I was just at your Fox booth. <laughs> Fox seems to be about yeah. trying to find the consumer, particularly the millennial consumer. This seems to be a prevailing theme. In order to find the consumer and keep the consumer, they need Salesforce. How did this happen? Well, every company is getting closer to their customer. We've been talking about this for years. It doesn't matter if you're a B2B company or a B2C company, everybody's becoming a B2B2C company. Fox is no different, and all of News Corp is no different, honestly, which is that if you're in the media business, you have to be directly connected to the customer, and there's more capabilities to do that than ever before. When we get to our keynote, which is going to be at 3 o'clock today here in San Francisco, we're going to profile Fox. We have their management team here. We're going to do it. They're here. They're not talking to Disney. They're talking to you. I don't know what's going on with Disney, Jim. I could just tell you their management team is here. It's a very exciting time uh, for Salesforce and Fox, and you're going to see some incredible new capabilities between the two companies today at 3 o'clock. Now, it, B to B, B to C, I bumped into some Caterpillar people. Caterpillar, disintermediating if necessary, actually putting cat the, their devices, their tractors, their trucks online well, using Salesforce. To. Well, they have Why to. do they have to? They have well, a dealer network that's part of par excellence. Well, all these farms are becoming fully automated, right? We're even moving to farmers without, farms without farmers, you know? And this is amazing. Caterpillar has to be part of that trend. You have to have fully autonomous Caterpillars, tractors. You have to have fully autonomous capabilities to be able to seed the ground, to be able to harvest, to be able to warehouse and you have to be connected with your customer in an incredible new way. All of that's the fourth industrial revolution when it comes to farms. Right. And I mean, at the biggest level, that's what's going on here. This is a fourth industrial revolution. This is no, changing every, everything. Everybody here seems to be wired to the idea that, well, if you're Cody, elevators direct to consumer, yeah. city direct to consumer. Did you see that elevators are now talking to you. Uh, well, so no, all the, well, nobody likes to be in a stuck elevator. True, true. <laughs> but Ducati is talking to but us. But now the elevators are talking to us, so they're not going to be in a stuck elevator because we're going to predict before the elevator is going to fail, we're going to roll the service truck. We're going to make sure that we have a relationship directly with that building. We're going to know what's happening. Ducati, the motorcycles fully right. connected, all built on Salesforce. It's a, it's a deeply connected motorcycle. How many new large Fortune 500 companies here this year versus last year? Oh, you well, that's been our fastest growing segment. Every big company has to get online and every big company. Yeah, I was just with the CEO of a huge tire company and he's like, Mark, I have to tell you, this is everything's changing for me. I'm like, how can it be changing on tires? He goes, fourth industrial revolution, new composite materials, sensors in the tires, the tires connected. Before, when the tire blows, nobody knows. Right. Now, now, the tire blows, everybody knows, everybody's connected. That's the power of what's happening. All right, well, we look forward to talking to you later tonight on Mad Money, but Mark Benioff, 170,000 people, very exciting. Jim, Back to you guys. welcome to San Francisco. <laughs> Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.